Look, I'm an angel. A angel. <laughs> angel. Yum. Hello, welcome back to NDT, that's me. And what in the world Wednesday? <laughs> um, so I haven't made a video in a long time and it just started with um, but I really don't see any other word that kind of fits the way that I feel about the current election 2016 results. Speaking of the actual votes, uh, the popular vote was actually taken by Hillary Clinton who won by, where are those numbers? Uh, her take was 59,583,144 votes to Trump's 59,344,988 votes, which means that she won the popular vote by a margin of 238,156 American votes, which is lovely. However, the reason she is not president is because of the Electoral College, which Trump took. 279 to 228. So all I have to say with Tennessee being my home state and North Carolina being a nearby state is shame on you both <laughs> because if you both would have swayed in the favor of Hillary, then we wouldn't have this man in office. And that's just the way I feel. But the way that we feel changes. And I hope that after hearing his acceptance speech, it wasn't just an air. It wasn't just a generic. Oh, let's all come together, unity, Americans, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, unite. I hope there was some light in that. What is the difference between the popular vote and the electoral college? Well, the popular vote is how many people actually voted, and the electoral college is the amount of votes that are set up around each state or area, and it is basically given to the candidate if the popular vote is won in that state. And it should be done away with. I'm in a coffee shop. So now, for the first time since the 109th Congress, 2005 to 2006, we're going to have a presidential Republican. <laughs> Republicans will control the Senate. Republicans will control the House. And we all know what happened during the George W. Bush administration. Think about it. Now here's where I get serious. Oh wait, I've been serious this whole time. The way I really feel is two nights ago, three nights ago, I woke up uh, from a night terror and I was crying and it was all about, <laughs> these, these are our options. These are the two people that we can vote for. Why? Why? And my brother was like, well, how could you vote for her? She's so evil. She's so cold. And my immediate response that I held back was, how can you vote for someone who says racist things and <laughs> misogynistic things and who says the word things in his acceptance speech, I don't know how many times, but I'm not on here to throw hate towards any supporters of either candidate. I just know that it's going to be a very difficult few days for us to get adjusted and accept this as the new reality and to know that we need to remind ourselves that the government is in place to function as we would have it to function. Now, in all reality, we know that doesn't always happen because there are things that distract us over here while things get pushed through Congress and become law or while amendments are made that are meant to be sold to serve us well when in the fact they, when in fact they actually don't. We all know that these things happen because they've happened again and again. So my only thought is for us to continue to educate ourselves about future candidates, but not so much the presidential candidates, but knowing 
who are your representatives in the House? Who are, are your choices for the Senate? And why do you want to vote for them? Because the thing that galls me, and I'll end it here, is this was not a political race that was built on <clears throat> their opinions and plans surrounding financial reform or foreign policy or uh, energy, new energy, green energy development. It, it wasn't anything of that nature. It was a personality campaign. And the reason that Trump won is because he appealed to the working middle class that's tired of feeling the way that they do, which my thought is you're still going to feel this way in years to come because I do not believe that this man is set on helping you and your family make more money. I think he is set on helping him and his very rich friends on making more money and that's the way it works. And that's the way it's going to work for the next four years, unless something magical and radical has actually happened and Trump simply used that as a platform to gain the votes that he needed to do what he feels is right. But we're talking about a man who hasn't had any experience in office, who's went bankrupt a number of times, who's said grotesque things about women, and I just... I don't even know where or how to end this or close this just because I hit the button too fast. Thanks for listening. Subscribe. Sayonara.